<coughs> this is uh, so la last few lectures i have already discussed different use, use cases which can be built uh, by using the iot okay uh, so which can be also useful for iot applications or smart city and smart environment applications okay so now today i will discuss about the one of the smart uh, phenomena which can be used for the iot applications right so that is smart waste management uh, like a smart dustbin okay so what do you mean by the smart dustbin okay so here in this case what i have done here so normally uh, waste management means suppose uh, you can see in different cities you can see so there are the various uh, dustbins are available so but uh, the dustbin container if you see about the dustbin container so if it is full no one is coming and taking uh, the garbage and no one is informing to the garbage manager okay not various cities you can see uh, right so you can when the dustbin is automatically when the dustbin is full okay dustbin container is full uh, so at that period of time uh, automatically some information can be uh, transferred to the garbage manager for collecting the collect for uh, for going to the particular location and collecting the waste from that particular dustbin so this is uh, this phenomena is about the smart dustbin right uh so it can uh, yeah, due to this uh, if you build the smart dustbin so the city will be also clean and very uh, uh, so the time effort everything can be minimized by using the smart dustbin uh, so the the smart dustbin that is a one of the phenomena one of the uh, implementation uh, that comes under the smart waste management right so how can you implement this smart dustbin uh, so suppose there is a dustbin okay in a particular area this dustbin so we can connect the ultrasonic sensor okay suppose here i have connected the ultrasonic sensor so if the level is low if the waste is low in the dustbin container okay so the it cannot be sensed by the ultrasonic sensor so if the level is continuously full if with the top of the garbage container okay is full filled already and the uh, the so that uh, thing can be analyzed by the ultrasonic sensor so if it is if half of the dustbin is full that information also can be sensed by the ultrasonic sensor we can write the program accordingly so that you can tell that now the dustbin is half so it is about to be full that information can be uh, transferred to the garbage manager so if it is full the ultrasonic sensor can sense the objects okay near about the the smart ultrasonic sensor right so then uh, this information if the they see the waste level is detected by the sensor this information is transferred to the cloud okay or the garbage manager the information can be transferred to the cloud as well as the garbage manager okay so there is a in a so whenever wherever the garbage manager is situated so he or she can see the display message in the display message the information can be transferred or information will be like that the garbage is full okay so lcd you can connect the lcd the garbage manager room where he or she is situated the message can be display on the lcd screen okay so in if it is pulled also a uh, field of if somehow the garbage manager is not observed the lcd message so in that particular room the buzzer will be presented so buzzer will be all will be also played if the garbage is full okay sorry dustbin is filled right so how so for that what are the components are required one is the ultrasonic sensor as a sensor you can uh, for output you can use the lcd as well as the buzzer okay so now i will show the diagram which i have made in the ticker cat so this is the diagram for smart dustbin right uh, this arduino and the ultrasonic sensor this is the ultrasonic sensor 
the sensor placed inside the garbage container this ultrasonic sensor that is placed inside the garbage container and uh, the alert message will be transferred played by the buzzer okay these two are the output functions these two are uh, placed the garbage manager room okay this is the lcd display these two are placed inside the garbage manager room okay this is inside the dustbin okay so uh, the the ultrasonic sensor that will be act as the input for microcontroller and the lcd and the buzzer that will be acted as a output for microcontroller right so if some object is detected by the ultrasonic sensor object means waste okay is detected by the ultrasonic sensor the information will be transferred to the microcontroller and it will execute some code and the some information will be passed into the lcd and the buzzer the information will be transferred into the lcd and the buzzer okay so the ultrasonic sensor connection that i have already discussed in my previous lecture you can see my previous lecture okay so uh, two pins are normally available that is one is the trigger pin one is the echo pin trigger is transferred from the information is transferred from the ultrasonic sensor to uh, the near uh, environment okay if the object is detected by the ultrasonic sensor the echo will get some message from the object this echo message will transfer into the microcontroller and there is a formula from that you can calculate the object distance between the object and the ultrasonic sensor the lcd connections this also you can see in internet you can, it, it will be easily available you can see how the lcd can connect to the arduino and respective set of instructions for lcd and buzzer all of you know i have already discussed uh, in each and every instance uh, i have used a uh, uh, buzzer so positive pin will be connected with the digital pin of the arduino and then the negative pin will be connected with the uh, negative terminal of the breadboard okay now i will show you the tinker gate diagram and each uh, the connection uh, uh, i will again explain and the code so this is the uh, diagram for the smart dustbin so already you can see the ultrasonic sensor so here the trigger pin you can see echo and trigger pin these are two are connected to the digital pin of the arduino and uh, the this is power pin is connected to the positive terminal of the breadboard negative pin is connected to the negative terminal of the breadboard this is the about the lcd connection the buzzer connection okay so these two are input output pin um, for uh, our microcontroller buzzer is the output pin as well as the uh, display is also the output pin now come to the i'll come to the code okay uh, so the LCD uh, library you have to import it, and LCD crystal. So whatever pin you have connected from the LCD, this pin number you have to write in a one variable that is LC liquid crystal variable. So this is the one the owner. Sorry, this is the one of the uh, function name. Okay, liquid crystal LCD. Inside this uh, liquid crystal, you are representing as a LCD. Within bracket, you have to write whatever pins you have connected from the whatever pins are connected to the lcd this thing right so uh, the trigger pin is the pin number 10 echo pin is the pin number 9 and buzzer pin you have connected to the pin number 13 if you can see the buzzer is connected to the pin number 13 okay and uh, so this set of instruction these two are required for writing the uh, ultrasonic sensor code the duration and distance you have to write as a data type now under the void setup function you have to initialize the lcd as a lcd dot view game within bracket 16 comma 2 okay this is the type of the lcd whatever lcd i am using trigger pin is output pin because you are sending the information some logic one or zero information through the microcontroller to the outside okay of the environment so the trigger pin is the output pin echo pin is the input pin again the buzzer will be the output that i have already told right buzzer is the output so lcd that is not configured as a input or output the display uh, unit right so now under the void loop function i'll write the set of instruction okay so uh, this set of instruction is uh, for the ultrasonic activation of the ultrasonic sensor right you have to calculate the distance accordingly 
if we send the trigger message or if you get the echo message from that you can calculate the distance and now so i am considering as a, if the distance is 50 less than 50 so if the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and the uh, the waste inside the uh, smart dashboard if less than 50 okay then the uh, uh, waste level is low the message will be displayed in the lcd screen as the waste level is low right and buzzer pin will be buzzer will not also not be played right so digital right buzzer pin is low so lcd dot set cursor so i am putting the cursor in a particular location of the lcd display so in the first there are the two rows in say, on the lcd the first row it will be displayed as old label in the second row it will be displayed as a, uh, is low so for first row the cursor will be like that uh, 0 comma 0 for the second row 2 comma 1 right this message will be displayed if the distance is that condition okay less than 50 then the OS level is low and uh, again you have to clear the LCD message and if the distance is suppose uh, and the greater than 50 or less than 100 so its level is the average if distance is more than 100 okay that means the uh, uh, level is full okay so in you can change the condition also but based on the different condition of the ultrasonic sensor you have to uh, uh, transfer the you have to write the display message accordingly okay for the low i have written the low display if distance is medium Okay, for uh, if distance from the 50 to 100, the OS level is average. If distance is uh, greater than 100, then OS level is full. Okay, in that condition, in this condition, the digital right within bracket buzzer right, uh, buzzer pin comma high. So I am sending the logic high to the buzzer pin because the OS level is full at that particular condition. Okay, so uh, this is about the um, uh, smart dashboard. Okay. So just uh, if you want to send, transfer the, uh, the information to the cloud, you have to uh, integrate this code with the other platform that I will discuss later. What are the platforms are there for the cloud? So that upcoming lecture, I will discuss this thing also. So just for understanding, basic understanding, I have uh, explained all the thing on the Tinkercad. Okay, one by one, if you know the thing, if you know the thing in the Tinkercad, you can easily integrate the uh, in the audio hardware id as well as the you can also integrate with the cloud right uh, so now i'll show the um, uh, execute the program uh, start simulation so here i am showing that those level is full the buzzer is playing No, I'm showing like this. Yeah. Waste level is low. Waste level is average. Buzzer is also not playing. Waste level is full. Okay. In this way, you can show again. I'm showing you. Waste level is low. Full as level is medium. Like this way, you can um, integrate the uh, you can build the smart dashboard for IoT applications. I hope you like my video and you have understood uh, somehow. I this is a very easy program. Yeah, you can also think about your own idea and you can implement like this way. So please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.